bit of a firewood update. I have a couple of stations here. This is obviously the chainsaw cut face. This is the pile I've cut so far. Uh, less two trailerfuls of logs. And um, I'll show you what to, what I'm doing here. So I got my uh, take my bowlins and I obviously hook it up to my trailer, which I mentioned in, in the other video there. And I take it to the side of a house here. Got it all loaded up. This is a four by eight trailer, all loaded up with uh, wood. And then I have a little I have a little chute here, which I toss it down. This goes down there and piles up down there, which you may or may not be able to see, but that's what I do anyways. And um, so I've got a pile of wood down there already. I can get about one, one load of wood downstairs at a time before I have to go downstairs and stack it. So I'm going to be going down and doing that next. And uh, I'll do a bit of a sped up uh, video of me doing that. But that's kind of the process from my wood pile in the trailer over to the window here. All pulled with my uh, Bolins 1050. So uh, I use my Bolins 1050 a lot. And uh, so that's my wood thing. Here's the inside of the wood window here. You can see the wood out there. So now I'm just going down here. Down these messy stairs. So here's a, a demonstration. Woo! Just slides down here. You can see much. There you go. So now I gotta move all this wood by hand over to my pile. If you can see it, should be picking that up. So this whole room here is gonna be filled with wood. I probably did videos on this last year, but uh, for all the new people. And uh, just looking for ants. I see a new spider web there. I got diot diotomaceous earth. Um, that's the powder that you see there. And um, diotomaceous earth kills or any uh, exoskeleton insects. Any any insect, I guess. I don't know. Are all insects? Uh, do all insects have exoskeletons? I don't know. Anyways, gets rid of ants. Ants are exoskeleton. And uh, I don't know if spiders technically are. Maybe they're. Um, but anyways, they, they walk over it. And uh, I did a, a video on diatomaceous earth. Search diatomaceous earth on my YouTube channel. <clears throat> what it does is they walk over it. And the diatomaceous earth is really fine. Uh, um, what is it? Seashells or something like that. And it scratches their belly. It scratches their exoskeleton. And they dehydrate through it, basically. So it kills them. So it keeps the insects down, like I say. Anything that maybe came in on the wood uh, will be uh, <clears throat> hopefully killed or at least limited in numbers. Because we have had uh, carpenter ants and that sort of thing in part of the house. So you don't want to bring in any extra critters with your wood. Most of this wood is fairly clean. Uh, it's not had a, had a long chance to get lots of bugs in it. But... Uh, I always, uh, you know, diatomaceous earth is cheap, and I got a bucket of it here. So, uh, without further ado, I will set this up and uh, put it on a fast forward, and uh, we'll get some work done here. <coughs>
and we're done that lo that lot that bunch that I threw down so I got we'll pack this up to the roof and then I'll get three more rows in here and this will be packed up pretty much all the way and then of course I'll have the wood stacked up on here and uh, and that'll be the wood for the winter there may be a bit more outside that I have to stack up that would be great if I had some extra but uh, I think I'll get most of it down here so that's, uh, I don't know what that is part two or three of cutting firewood for the season and this is how I do it and, uh, like I say I don't split any of this um, I get away with it because I have a big furnace and uh, in the basement it dries out pretty quick so uh, I don't have a huge problem with it drying necessarily although I should always use it a little bit drier than I get it but uh, it is what it is and it saves me a whole pile of work um, splitting um, it, it's not 50% more work or something maybe it's 25% more work it's a lot of work anyways when you consider the, uh, the breadth of the work involved, how many times I need to touch each piece of firewood. Um, you cut it, you toss it into the pile, you, you touch it once, then you toss it in the trailer, that's another touch. You toss it into the basement, that's another touch, about four, you know, three, four touches there. And then you got to stack it, obviously. Another touch, if you add uh, splitting, that's another touch or two that you add into it. So, a lot of work, but uh, that's how I do it, get it all in the basement.